Oh man, um, I don't even know where to really begin. This advertisement right here really says everything you need to know about this vehicle. <sighs> Get the Karen Hot Ring set or um, Hot Ring Saber. Get the Karen Hot Ring Evron from Southern San Andreas Super Autos, only available through March fifteenth. Are you fucking serious? Rockstar, when is this going to stop with these stupid bullshit limited time vehicles? We have another one. This is now four of these stupid limited time vehicles. Like, wow. Now, I have watched the video made by Digital Car Addict, Harm None, all kinds of different YouTubers today um, on this car. And... That's all you really need to do at this point to know how these cars are. I've owned the Hot Ring Saber before. The code from the Saber is literally just copy and paste it onto this truck. In fact, the truck... Here's the reason I'm not going to buy it, okay? I have not purchased this thing. I am not going to purchase this thing. It is... You'll see the price here. Also, just because I don't really have much money on me at the moment. That will change soon once I start taking advantage of this amazing event week. But 1.79 million dollars. I really want to know when that's going to stop too. But the trade price, no one's going to get the trade price and buy this thing. Let's be honest here because look at what you have to do. Place top three in 20 San Andreas Super Sports Series races to unlock the trade price for the vehicle. Nobody in their right mind is going to do that. Nobody's going to sit there and spend all that time racing just to save, what, like 400 grand on this thing? But here's the thing. You shouldn't even buy this thing anyway. In fact, I think the Saber, the old Hot Ring Saber, I think not only is that thing on sale this week, actually, but I'm pretty sure it actually handles even better than this new truck. Here's the Hot Ring Saber. Like, you tell me what actually looks better as well. This Hot Ring Saber here, or the Hot Ring Evron. I honestly think, maybe this is me being crazy or something, I don't know. I genuinely think that this looks better than that truck. Now, I'm not really, big, I'm not really a big truck person, but come on. This looks way better than this stupid two-door fucking NASCAR truck. Now, something also to keep in mind here is that there actually is a bit of realism that has been put into this truck. If you if you guys didn't actually know, in real life, NASCARs actually have fake headlights on them, like those Ford Fusions and stuff that you see used in NASCAR. Those headlights on there are actually stickers. And obviously, the reason that they would want that is... A, they're racing on tracks that are completely lit up anyway, so there's no point in having headlights on the cars. B, it saves weight, and it wouldn't have a, it wouldn't really make any sense anyway, like I said before. But it also, like, obviously, it saves a lot more weight that way, so you're not having to have a whole lighting system on your cars. That goes for the head and tail lights as well. And reverse lights are really any lights on this damn car. Now, here's the main thing, though. This is the worst limited time vehicle ever. Worst limited time vehicle that has been released. It is worse than the Issy Rally in every way because of one fucking fatal flaw. And that is the fact that A, there is no spoiler option on this thing. And B, it has those bullshit retarded advanced handling flags. The same advanced handling flags that were put onto the Entity MT, the Entity XXR, the Overflood Tyrant, the uh, fucking Chevel Tapon, the Flash GT, all of those vehicles. All of those vehicles have those advanced handling flags, and so does this new fucking, like, NASCAR truck. For a lot of people as well, this is like their most highly anticipated vehicle, and it's completely ruined with those stupid handling flags. Now, at the very least, in these hot ring races, you know, that will balance them, I guess? Because the hot ring saber has those as well. 
But for such a ridiculous price tag and also having it being a limited time vehicle, it is a complete scam. It is a ripoff. Do not waste your money on this thing. Seriously, do not even think about it. It is such a bad release. It's also reportedly very slippery as well compared to the Saber. Like, it's worse than the saber in every possible way it slides everywhere it has those stupid handling flags on it well to be fair the saber has those as well but it's way more slippery in terms of handling than the saber is and i'm curious what you actually have to do to get this one yeah so you can get the trade price <laughs> yeah man you can get the trade price for the saber by doing half the effort. Half of the effort. Like, why? Why would you ever pick the Everon over the Saber? It actually does not make any sense. It handles better. It looks better. And on top of that, like, they both are kind of on the same page with customization. Because, well... Everyone's really disappointed, basically, with the customization because there's, like, no unique customization. I really could care less because it's a, NAS ve it's, a, it's a NASCAR vehicle, you know? It's not really intended or designed to have much customization in terms of, like, bumpers and stuff because, you know, you're, it's all about saving weight, not adding it. So, I mean, to be fair, changing at least, like, the front bumper and stuff to, like, a carbon one would have made more sense in that way because carbon obviously is lighter like a carbon hood rockstar could have done a lot more with this to be honest here but i'm fine with what they've done with customization what i'm not fine with is everything else that they've put on this thing those handling flags the laziness of it as well this the copy and paste of the handling like come on rockstar how hard would it really have been to just give this thing its own coding and not disappoint everyone? Like, seriously. Let, let's just look at a car on Legendary Motorsport that they could have copied and pasted the code from instead. Or at least just based it on. Like, could have they... Zeruso. This car handles fine. It, again, it looks great, but we're not here to talk about looks, okay? Handling is fine, acceleration is pretty good, and top speed is acceptable. It's kind of your average supercar. But, you know... It's rear-wheel drive, just like the Everon is. And, most importantly, there's no bullshit handling flags on it. Like, the handling flags just need to be deleted from the game, honestly, and the hard drive for them needs to be burned into fire. There is no reason for these handling flags to still be a thing and continue to be added onto new cars. Like, the Tyrant should not have these. The Entity MT especially should not have have those handling flags. The XXR should not have them. The tape on the fucking flash GT you get the point. They shouldn't be there. Because they just ruined the game. They ruined the cars. But honestly, I feel like I've rambled about this long enough. Honestly, I just I'm very disappointed in Rockstar. Even more disappointed in Rockstar than I've been in a very long time. Um needless to say Really? Sorry about that. But yeah, let me just say, this is going to very much negatively impact my review of this DLC. Like, very, very much negatively impact my review of the DLC. Like, as if we really needed any more proof that this DLC was a 3 out of 10. Like, I honestly, I might even make it a 2 out of 10 now. I very well might. I, I very well may give this DLC a 2 out of fucking 10. One for each vehicle that's been added to this DLC with the fucking handling flags on it. I'm not sure, but I'll think about that. I'll think about that very heavily. And on March 16th, when the second part of the DLC comes out, because that's announced by Rockstar, it's coming March 16th. One week from now, we're going to be getting the second part. I'll really think about that when that comes out and I make my final review. Rockstar, just fuck you. 
Fuck you for this. Fuck you for your laziness. Get better. Like, seriously. If Rockstar also adds these stupid bullshit handling flags to GTA 6, I will delete that fucking game immediately, probably. Because I ain't done with that shit again. <laughs> obviously, that's mostly... That's obviously a joke, but like... I wouldn't be surprised if other people didn't. But yeah. Anyways, that's all I really got for today. I'm going to go ahead and delete this fucking game now. Not really. But I am definitely going to be getting off it now. Because I have to go to my driving lessons. So, yeah. That'll be fun. As long as I'm not driving this piece of shit. But anyways, yeah. With that out of the way, I hope you guys just save your fucking money. Don't buy this thing, please. That's all I'm going to ask you guys. Just do not waste your fucking money on this thing. It's limited time. I'll be glad when it's fucking gone. It's such a shit vehicle. That makes two of them now for the limited time vehicles that are just complete horseshit. The other two are average. So, Rockstar still doesn't know what vehicles to make limited time. Wow. What a fucking shock. <laughs>